Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Bluebeam, I want to introduce you to custom columns. This is a very important and unique location that you can basically edit or add or remove columns to your markup list. You can basically use it for your quantification if you want to add a cost or a different columns to your process. This is a place that you can go and leverage it to basically have a great uh, view or a great review of your whole workflow when you are reviewing your PDF and all the markups on your PDF. So without further ado, let's jump into Bluebeam so I can show you how to manipulate or edit the custom columns. In today's episode, we wanna go over in detail custom columns. We wanna look at every single format and we see how we can leverage this and how we can use this tool if you want to do if you want to create a, like a QC log inspection log punch list and see how we can use these items so I'll just have one markup so I can basically you guys can see if I can select this uh, I can see the markup this is on my uh, just one page of the floor plan so to create the markups uh, you need uh, the custom columns under the markup list columns um, you can see manage columns. So these are all the columns that probably it's are predefined like the area volume measurement anything that you need over here uh, And then the custom columns. It's where we want to go and double check everything So let's just start with the first one, which is text. Let's just put um, description So this is a uh, text that you want to add a bullet point if you want to have a multi-line like if you want to add a lot of description for each room you can basically check the multi-line if not and check it it's only gonna be one bullet point so as soon as you hit that it's gonna add one you can basically go in front of this area double click uh, basically on that and then says um, need inspection so that's we can use the text for many stuff but anything has to be just a bullet point. If you want a multi-line, you can just put like a bunch of description over there. So next one that we have under our custom column, it's gonna be the check mark. So check mark, um, you basically have a default. You can default as checked or unchecked. I just leave it as unchecked, and then I put over there, inspect it, uh, and then. Okay, okay, and it's gonna add over here. So if we get those room inspected, check, if not, uncheck. So next one that I wanna go over it real quick is gonna be um, just a choice. So choice basically, um, you can put like past inspection. Let me just type it inspection. And then right here, I'm going to add the options, right? So the items would be yes. And the subject is, let's say, for our rooms. Um, let's just put like an EE room. So I'll tell you why we put this subject. So this subject is basically group and organized uh, your uh, choices for you. So if you want to do all the choices for all the mechanical room, all the electrical room, all the whole floor. So if you don't want to you know basically categorize under electrical room mechanical room uh, chiller room you're just gonna do flooring so you just basically select floor over there and it's gonna select the like a floor one like a level one level two so it's basically kind of organized it for you right now let's say we want to do um, just for the rooms so that's gonna be yes and then I'm gonna create same one says no and then just same the room okay so if I hit OK, uh, it's basically it's going to create that line item for me, but I need to go and select uh, the item. So I know it says past inspection, and when I double click, it doesn't show that yes or no option for me. And that's because I need to go and turn on the subject column so it shows the organized, like what area I'm looking at. So if I go here real quick under the manage, uh, we have subject um, and then I want to make sure it's checked here so it shows up uh, so I'll just put 
EE so it's already over there because I selected so as soon as I do that it gives me those options so this is kind of group I'm organizing for you so let's say inspection passed yes or no you can kind of uh, select so it says inspected didn't pass the inspection right so next one uh, under our manage column uh, let's go add we have the date so this is going to be the preview how the dates are going to look like I'm just going to select this one so I need to name it and it says uh, inspection date for example I mean you can just add everything over here or scheduled inspection date so I'm gonna select this one this one and as as soon as I click here is basically it's gonna open up a, a line item for me so I can kind of double uh, click I can select that date uh, that's easy so the next one under the manage column I can go to add so I'm gonna skip the formula I want to go to the number because I want to create some stuff with the number so we can add the formula so for the number let's say I want to right now um, calculate how much is gonna cost me to build let's say the electrical home just a square footage and I have a number for it um, let's just assume that you can apply these to um, basically getting the cost for your footings so you can do uh, the volume on your footings uh, under 2d and also you can have the cost per cubic yard is gonna give you the total how much it's going to be for uh, each footings or for the whole foundation so let's just start with the number um, the number has a different format if you want to do a percentage for some areas if you just have a normal number or currency so right now we want to do a currency that's why I just want to uh, use the currency right here and then if you want to have the minimum maximum or include just the whole total I just leave it that one I'm gonna name this uh, cost per square feet so it basically is gonna add um, a line item over here for cost per square feet and um, as soon as I kind of click over here it's gonna open up for me and I can kind of add some items so it's gonna put 65 this is not gonna be the number because this is just this area so it's not gonna calculate anything I just wanted to show you that all the numbers is gonna show up under this so right now you have to create an area and then apply a cost to it so it's gonna give us a number but this line item is just a note so it's not gonna be any cost for the note so what we need right now area yes so columns and then I want to select the area because that's predefined. You guys can do the volume, wall area, length, and whatnot. You can it's gonna be basically selected everywhere. I want to make sure it's checked so area shows up. So right now I need to do the measurement because I don't have anything here. So I want to do let's say these main electrical. So I'm gonna go to area. Uh, make sure it's uh, selected because right now it wasn't scale, so the scale is one eighth. I'm gonna apply so I'm gonna go here 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 and double click so right now he's gonna give me let's say let me get rid of this zero so that's the square footage for that room and I want to say cost um, let's say per square foot is 12 and right now and it doesn't see anything because I didn't create the formula yet so right now I just need to have these columns so right now I'm going to go back to column, manage column, and then I'm going to go to formula. I put total cost, and then room fill up. Um, so expression here, I need area, and then I'm going to hit the star. I'm gonna times these costs so I when when you create those it's gonna show up over here so right now and the format I want to make sure it's on currency it's gonna give me the total if I hit ok there you go it's gonna show up so right now any area that you start doing it it's gonna give you all the numbers so let me just do this area for example I want to do these BD yeah. I want to do these BD April 
So let me just select here. Y. Okay. So right now I have a square footage of the area. Let's say it's got me 12 bucks. It gives me the whole thing. So as I mentioned, you can basically use um, any measurement right now. Just do um, like a square footage, volume, put your cost. It's going to calculate the, the total cost. And then at the top, it's basically going to add all of this, like all the square footage, all the total. And if you select the minimum and maximum, it's basically give you what is the, uh, um, the lowest price, what is the highest price. It basically is going to help you out. And also you can kind of export all of these items with the markups for each area so i thought this might be a good tool to help you guys how you can use the custom columns and we wanted to kind of go over all of those custom columns in conjunction with all um, predefined columns uh, to get what you want so basically you can create everything these are all the types that you can do for the text check mark choice date number and formula that you can add to it you can modify it you can add it if you have different uh, formulas from different uh, areas like in Excel you can import it over here and Bluebeam is gonna help you out identify all of those and basically create the items that you want um, you can also use this as I mentioned for the inspection quality control punch list some cost items this is gonna be a good tool that you can use and share it with everybody because you can print it out you can filter it you can share it with everybody else Hope that you guys uh, enjoyed today's session. Uh, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next video.